Okay, uh, somebody requested that I make a video on how to do digital modes with the Radiodity QT60 Pro. Um, I was able to do digital modes pretty easily after a little bit of troubleshooting, so I'll go ahead and get into that now. So, um, I'll put a diagram on the screen sooner or later on how to make this. I don't want to take this apart, mostly because it's taped together, but if I need to, I will. So, I'll go ahead and go through all the pieces. So, this is a cable, uh, RJ45 to a basically a pinout uh, deal. I'll post a link in the description of what I got. Um, but in here, it's real simple. You just... This is ground, number five is ground, I think it's this one. Uh, one of these is the speaker in, and one of these is the mic out. Once again, I'll post the uh, something maybe right here, I don't know. Um, and then I ran the, from here I soldered the ends of the cable just to make it a nice solid contact. And then those are going to uh, 3.5. And then that goes to just a USB sound card. Uh, just because this laptop does not have a uh, input and output. It's just the uh, dual. So you have to get a sound card. Uh, one thing to note, you will need some ferrites for this. Um, here. Yeah. Well, they're not going to come out. I don't want to take them out. But it's just the things that you put around the cable so that way there's no emission of noise. I have one around both. The reason it's taped up like this is this kept getting loose. So now it's pretty solid how it is right now. Um, another tip, if you can get a ground wire... The same, the same pin that has the ground, put an extra cable, and then put that to an attachment on your radio. And uh, this will help with any feedback loops when you're doing uh, digital modes with your Radiodity QT60 Pro. Uh, if you don't do this, you'll likely have instances where you will be transmitting, which you should be, and then when you should be stopping, it will bleed over and then you'll just be in a loop. Um, and you won't notice it sometimes, so the, long story short, get a ground cable, so that way it goes from your ground to the chassis of the radio, and that will greatly help with any issues. Um, previously, I put a switch to the ground and the push to talk, and I was manually toggling it each time, but that got really old really quick. So get a cable in there, put it to the chassis, and that'll also help with your received ground and everything else. So um, if you have any more questions, let me know. Um, if you need me to take this apart, I will take it apart, but I'm gonna go over it really quick again. This, here, let me look here. Okay. <clears throat> Alright. This is the microphone. Uh, so, there's a speaker out, and there's a speaker in. So, this, would, this goes to your headphone, this goes to your... Your microphone uh, output on your on your USB or sound card or whatever you're using. All right. Um, I guess since I'm making a video on this and we're already five minutes in, I don't know. I'm trying to be too quick. So um, as you can see, I'm already on uh, the frequency for this. Can I turn off the flash? I don't think I can. So too bad. We're just gonna rock with the flash. So some settings that you'll want to do. Uh, they have their own settings, and maybe they'll work for you. Uh, but you know, oh, uh, I'll just set that back to three. I guess is what I had it at. But okay. So here's what you'll need to do. Um, 
your mic gain, uh, they recommend to set it, I believe, to 10 in the recommended settings, but I do 5, and that helps with the bleed over issue, but maybe I could do 10 and get uh, more successful contacts, but 5 seems to do just fine for me. Um, you have to change this from EL to DY. I'm pretty sure. If I'm wrong, I'll put it in the video. Um, and then your uh, V path, that's the volume path, I guess. I don't know. Uh, oh, we'll go back into the menu. Uh, volume path. So this determines, does the sound come out of the speaker? Does it come out of just this? Or does it come out of both? Um, I usually just run the mic so it just runs out of here, which then runs through here, which then runs through here. So uh, there's that. And then you'll need the Vox, V-O-X settings. Uh, that's going to be 22. Uh, this is the Vox level. So I was having a lot of issues with bleed over. And at times I would have this all the way kind of maxed out around 8, 9. Um, but once I added this ground cable, um, I'm really able to run this. You know, it's at 3. I wasn't having uh, any issues today. And then uh, Vox T, which is Vox Time, um, they recommend to put, I think, think two or three I, I I'm pretty sure I had it at three before I updated it but um, you know I used to have it at six once again because of the bleed over issues but I'm pretty sure all that is resolved now so um, there you go that is how to do digital mode on your radiotity qt60 pro if you have any issues let me know um this sorry i only have two hands this plugs in to here uh right into there and uh yeah it just works so uh yeah anyway have fun out there n0 qqd